Our purpose today is to do what all Americans do, both parties, Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, and that is to honor the people who have defended our country. When the nation is at war, when people are spilling their blood, we are all Americans first and foremost, and party does not matter. The older I got into my teenage years, I realized that many of the local airports, Orlando Executive and Orlando International, as well as Orlando Sanford International, were actually training bases during World War II. And really, as a result, in 1940, Orlando Army Airfield was established at the Orlando Municipal Airport and had the mission of training future crews for a wide variety of attack, bomber, and pursuit aircraft. December 14, 1944, more than 1,600 American POWs left the Philippines bound for Japan on a hell ship called the Uroku Maru. The next day, aircraft from the USS Hornet, not realizing POWs were aboard that ship, strafed and bombed the ship, but did not sink it. The following day, they returned and sank the crippled ship with, more, with the loss of more than 300 POW lives. And that was when we got ready to go to war in World War II. We were so underprepared, it's, it's beyond description to, to discuss it. The Army uh, consisted of forces smaller than Czechoslovakia. We, were the, we had the seventh, seventh largest army in the world. Everyone, essentially, was out in front of us in terms of their uh, military uh, might. What we had, essentially, were all World War I, uh, what we had was all World War I equipment. And so when we started to ramp up for after the attack on Pearl Harbor and after President Roosevelt had gone through a number of, uh, of efforts to get us essentially allied with England and support the cause of freedom over in Europe and in the Far East, we got wound up getting attacked by Japan on December 7th. And I can say as an old man that never in my history, never to my knowledge, has there been such a burst of patriotism spill out over a country as there was this United States. If there was anyone who was really unhappy about the war, they were keeping their mouth shut. And I call of you to reflect back on how wonderful it was to stand and pledge our allegiance to the flag today and, and be Americans. Well, thank you.